Hey everybody, this is Burke, and today is a great day to learn about how to create your own custom tags in NativeScript. Uh, custom tags are great for creating your own reusable components and really just for cleaning up your markup when it starts to get really verbose. To show you how to do this, I've got a sample app. It's just a to-do list here. Um, we could add uh, something else to this, nothing crazy. Um, but one interesting thing is down here at the bottom, you'll see that there's this decoration down here that makes this thing look like a set of stacked pages. By the way, this design is straight from the to-do MVC project uh, for JavaScript frameworks. Um, now, NativeScript doesn't have anything for doing this down here, but you can actually do pretty much anything visually with just a bunch of stack layouts, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, this stack layout, just a horizontal line, and then a, and then another stack layout, another line, a little thicker, another stack layout, a little smaller, another line, a little thicker, a little shorter, and that gives us this sort of staggered effect here. Now, you'll notice that the XML in this file is pretty verbose, or it's, it, it's definitely getting that way. And so what we want to do is pull this out and create a component because maybe we want to use this on different pages. So let's do that. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to just call it custom. And then inside of that folder, I'm going to take this stack layout right here, and I'm just going to pull all of this out, this bottom part here. And then we're going to put this inside the custom folder, create a new file, and we're just going to call this, um, we'll call this page effect, or I'll tell you what, stacked pages.xml. Okay. And then inside here, we'll put all of this markup and move this back over. All right, there we go. And now we can come back to the XML and I can say, uh, oh, I want to actually use this, this XML file that's in this custom folder as a component in this page. And we can do that. To do that, we need to add another XML namespace. These XML namespaces, you can have more than one of these. Now, when you have an XML namespace, it'll look like this, XML in S and then a colon and then whatever you want to call it. So we could call it X or custom or whatever. Really, it doesn't matter. Uh, for now, we'll call it custom, and then we're just going to point it at that custom folder. And we do that just by saying custom. And by saying custom, NativeScript immediately looks in the custom folder. So let's go ahead and uh, move this page loaded event back up here. Space this out. Uh, there we go. And now we can use this custom tag down here in the NativeScript. So down here is where we had this stack layout. It's kind of hard to see anymore. Uh, let me make sure I'm putting this in the right place. Yeah, it's right here. And then we'll just say here, we'll say custom, and then we can reference it stacked pages, just like that. And just like that, we've created our own custom XML tag here, and we've cleaned up this markup quite a bit by moving this thing out into its own component, which could then be used in other pages. All right, so let's go back to our application, make sure everything still works. And it does, really cool. Now, I wanna show you something real quick. If we were to, and I'll let's do this where I sort of move this over and we can see both at the same time here. Let me shrink this back. All right, so what we can do is if we go over here to the uh, CSS, we also wanna keep this clean. So I'm going to pull out all of this CSS here. I'm gonna click Save, and when I do that, you're gonna notice that the styling on the application disappears. All right, so it's gone now because it's no longer picking up those styles. But we can actually come in here in, in custom, and because NativeScript has this naming convention uh, uh, feature set where you have a file.xml, same name.javascript, and then same name.css, and that's all you have to do to associate those things together, we can create a new file called stacked pages.css, and we can put just the CSS for that component in there. And when we do that, wait for it here and you'll watch it refresh and it will automatically pick up these style rules and now our stacked effect is back. So that's how you can create your own XML tags in NativeScript, clean up your markup and your application will be awesome and clean and beautiful. Thanks so much, hope you enjoyed it.